Hey everyone, it's Natalie. Welcome to my channel. Today I am rolling up my sleeves and I'm going to rearrange, reorganize, declutter my closet. I've been bringing my summer wardrobe out and my fall wardrobe in. And then after I'm done doing that, I thought that I would go through some of my favorite pieces for the fall time, share with you some of my like fall fashion or fall wardrobe staples. I know a lot of you have requested a video like that. So I figured I kind of mash up the two videos into one. If I was a smart YouTuber, I would like milk as much content out of this as I could. But that's what I've got time for today. So I thought I'd do it all in one video. If you think that's a good idea and you need to maybe tackle your closet or do some organization somewhere else in your house, then give this video a thumbs up and consider subscribing if you haven't done so already and hit that bell button if you are subscribed. So so you don't miss my videos that I post every week. I usually post once a week, but lately I've been doing a twice a week thing. So that's pretty fun. So this is the closet situation in our master bedroom. There's one big closet, but it has two openings basically. My husband takes up this closet and part of it is actually some studio equipment that I have. And then part of my closet space is taken up with that same studio equipment and then my clothing collection and I use cube units for the stuff that I don't fold like loungewear, random t-shirts, uh, socks and underwear, that sort of thing. And then you'll see in here a little bit deeper, I hang a lot of my clothing, but I don't like the way this is situated. As you can see, I've been measuring things and trying to figure it out. We live in a pretty small home. I'm very grateful for it, but that's the reality. We have to make the best use of our space. Our master bedroom is not just for sleeping or for storing our clothes. It's also my office. It's a multifunctional space, so I've got to make it as functional as possible. And so I kind of have some ideas about what I want to do here. I'm going to set you guys on a tripod and I'm going to get to work. Okay, so the first thing I'm gonna do here is take the closet doors off. You guys have seen me do that before when I organize my closet and declutter it and clear it out and rearrange. It just makes it so much easier to access everything in there. Okay, so the next step is to take all of my like clothing wardrobe stuff out. It's so much easier for me to have a clean slate and then put stuff back in versus just working around the mess and like missing stuff along the way. So I am gonna take everything out and then rearrange some stuff in there. So I've been doing a little bit of problem solving with my whole shoe issue, hanging this um, hanging shoe organizer behind the closet door. It's not gonna work for me anymore. I thought an alternative would be to buy this um, shoe rack organizer, little piece of furniture, but it's actually too long to put on the top of this. It gives me basically no room to hang my clothing. I keep going back and forth and trying to figure stuff out. And what I've ended up with for now is actually cutting the bottom row or two off of this hanging shoe organizer. And then I'm going to fold this down and screw it into the wall through these grommets. Okay, so I think I have this under control. My little shoe organization little thing there seems to be working. And of course, a neighbor has to start mowing their lawn right now when I have to tell you guys about my 
fall wardrobe staples. So I'm gonna give you just a little closet tour first. I have everything that's hanging. So these are cardigans, sweaters, um, shirts that I would wear under a cardigan or sweater or like on its own that I don't want to get wrinkled from being thrown into a bin. So like my flannel shirts, I have some chambray shirts, a light one and a dark one. A lot of these shirts I wear for filming videos and so I want them to be close at hand in my collection. Something that I'm doing different this time is I'm actually folding my jeans and stacking them in the opening here in the cube unit rather than um, putting them in one of the cube unit drawers. I can see right in front of me the jeans that I have and what I'm going for rather than digging through a bin. And I think jeans is actually a really good place to start when talking about some fall staples because this is long pants season for me here in the Seattle area. So the American Eagle, curvy, high-waisted, skinny jeans, and extra short. These are just the perfect jeans for me. They fit like they were absolutely made for me, like tailored for my body. And so I've been purchasing these in the different washes and colors that they have. If you've seen some of my clothing videos before, you know I have challenges finding jeans that really fit me um, because I'm just an odd shape to fit properly. I, being petite, don't have trouble finding like my size, like the number in a store. Um, but jeans especially are really difficult because I have extremely short legs. Like I have a 25 inch inseam, which is ridiculously short. And I'm curvy in my butt and thighs. And so a lot of the time petite pants um, or slim pants are just too tight. Um, and then if I size up to fit my butt and thighs, the waist gap's really bad. So the curvy cut of the skinny jeans from American Eagle are awesome. And then the fact that they come in such a short length that I don't have to hem them because even some short length uh, cuts in other brands, I still have to cuff them or hem them a couple of inches. So this is such a win. I have this medium wash i have a dark wash version i have a black pair i want to get a second black pair that has rips in the knees i think that would look cool and give a more of an edgy alternative in my wardrobe and then another pair of jeans from american eagle are actually what i'm wearing right now these are their stretch mom jeans and these are like my um, distressed more casual version and as you can see i've got a little bit of booty going on and it's nice to have a pair of pants that fits snug enough in the waist that I'm not constantly having to pull it up but it's not like skin tight on my legs like I have room in here I got these in the short length so you can see I still have to cuff them these have been such a favorite of mine I love the way they look and feel the way they wear the way they've been washing and I cannot say enough good things about American Eagle jeans of all places. I've always thought of American Eagle as like a teeny bopper store. So it's so funny to me that they actually make pants perfect for like postpartum momminess. I totally would not have guessed that for American Eagle, but I'm so glad that you guys gave me the suggestion to try them out. The curvy skinny man. It's like so genius. I love that high waistedness. Tuck the mommy tummy in, elongate my legs by giving me a little bit more leg in proportion to torso when I'm putting an outfit together. So those are a total favorite for the bottoms. Let me show you a couple of tops. This right here is an old navy open front long uh, cardigan and I'm actually wearing the same one in this darker color. These are super comfortable without being too fuzzy and soft which I really like and I, I want to get more colors of this and you guys know me if I find something that I love I purchase several colors in it because I don't mind repeating styles in my wardrobe and I think having more colors just gives me more options but I love this mauvish sort of kind of purpley pink color but it's still understated a very neutral sort of person I like grays and um, more muted tones so this was perfect love this one want to get the charcoal gray one and possibly the oatmeal color there's another thing from American Eagle and I shared this in my fall favorites video so I'm not going to stay here too long but if you are looking for a kind of boxy fit super cozy crew neck sweater that's not too heavy look no further this is literally so cozy and comfortable it takes all the boxes for me as far as the sweater goes it can be dressed up or be super casual and they have a few other colors in this style as well so 
I think I'm gonna be making another purchase for another one of these. This is another fall wardrobe staple for me and I shared this in my fall favorites video too. This is the Universal Thread from Target, their flannels. They have a black and white like buffalo check one in the same style that I wanna get, but it might just be too much of a repeat of this black and white. Um, this is the classic shirt from Old Navy, and I've talked about this before. I got these last year and talked about them a lot. So this is also a good option for like a plaid or flannel looking shirt for the fall time. This is actually the same shirt. It's just in this gray and white pinstripe, which I've also talked about before. I don't buy a ton of new clothes if I find something that works for me. I wear it over and over again, season after season. And this is one of those items, definitely. So. I just have a little collection of like the button up basic classic shirts and then like I showed you some chambray shirts. I've had these for years. Actually a lot of my things in my wardrobe are thrifted um, so it's hard for me to like remember where I got them or find links for you guys because some of these things like this I think is just years and years old. And speaking of years old, you want to see the thing in my wardrobe that I've had the longest? This shirt. Weston calls this my Rolo shirt because these little buttons on the shoulders look like Rolo candy. <laughs> and he called it that back when we were dating, but I've had this shirt even longer than that. So Weston and I have been married seven years. We've been together for like nine and a half years around there. Um, but back in high school, I bought this shirt. It was my first purchase from Forever 21. The first time I had ever gone in a Forever 21. And I ended up with this shirt. <laughs> but I love the way it looks every time I wear it. And so I keep it in my wardrobe and it's for a Forever 21 piece. It has lasted years, over 10 years. It's lasted so long. But this is a relatively new piece to my collection. Um, relatively new meaning within the last six months or so. This is from the Bali brand, which my friend Ellie Meekum and her sister Bonnie started. And they have really nice clothes. Like, I was so impressed by the quality of this. And I purchased all of this myself, by the way. This is not a sponsored video, but um, I, when they first launched this line, I think this is in their spring or summer line this year, I thought that is so pretty and that color I think would look good on me. Um, and it falls somewhere between a fuchsia and a maroon. Like it's a really pretty balance between those two colors and I think it's a great way to put a pop of color in my wardrobe without getting too bright. It looks cute by itself with a pair of jeans, with a skirt, under a cardigan. It's really really versatile. I love these buttons down the front. The details and everything just like the way it's constructed and like the seams and like down to the buttonholes. You can tell it's a really good piece and it's like really well thought out. So Good job, Ellie and Bonnie. This is gorgeous. I just popped out to my front closet because if we're talking about fall wardrobe essentials, I think it's important to talk about some outerwear, some cozy stuff. Because if you live in a place like I do, where it gets pretty cold during the fall and winter, um, this is important. So I've talked about this before. This is a thread and supply wubby fleece pullover. Um, with a little zip here and it can be worn open or closed. It's so soft, like I can't even describe how soft this is. Um, and this is definitely one of those items that was an investment piece in my wardrobe. I actually got a Nordstrom gift card for Christmas. A friend sent me one and I decided to splurge, use the gift card for part of this purchase and I'm so glad that I did. This is really high quality. I've washed it a couple of times and, and it comes out looking beautiful every time and I just love this gray. You guys know my favorite color is gray and this is a piece that I wear all the time when I'm headed out to go you know, drop the boys off at pre-K or to go run errands. I'm always throwing this on. It's super comfy and I don't know, there's just something so cozy about this. But this is on the casual side. Let me show you my coat for being a little bit more dressy. Okay, so this is actually another Bali piece and when they released their fall line, I was so excited. Like this is my favorite piece out of their fall line and I ordered it immediately. This is their tweed jacket and it has like this cascading collar, like oversized collar in the front. Like how gorgeous is that? Something about Bali is that they really want to make clothing that fits 
all body types. So their sizing is super inclusive, which I appreciate because um, as a petite person, sometimes it can be hard to find clothing that works on a petite body, especially being postpartum, especially being a little curvy in the booty. So when I first put this jacket on, I was so impressed that the arms were actually short enough for my arms because even when I buy like an extra small or a petite cut from other brands in coats specifically, the arms are always too long. Does anyone else have that problem? Maybe I just have like super short arms, but look at this. Isn't this so cute here? I'll pan down a little bit so that you guys can see. How cute is this? And it would look cute over like a casual pair of jeans like this or I could wear a dress underneath, or I could wear a nice pair of slacks or like point pants. I think this is so versatile. It's got this little tuck in the back, which brings the waist in without being restrictive. And I actually really like the fact that there is no tie and no buttons or zipper. It's just kind of like an open front, flowy, very feminine, but still looks structured at the same time. I will wear this for years. This is a style that I don't think will look outdated for a good while. And I love the way it's constructed. I love that the sleeves are lined. I hate when coats or jackets don't have fully lined sleeves. That drives me crazy. I could throw on my favorite little felt hat. I've shown this to you guys before. I just think that's so cute. I would wear my hair down, probably not back in a pony, but just a cute little fall style, something a little extra for an outfit. This is super inexpensive. It's under $15 on Amazon and it's really cute and it's held up really well. Here's an update. The hat's holding up. So these are basically the only shoes that I wear out of the house during the fall time. I have a couple of pair of more formal shoes for like weddings or Christmas parties or whatever. A pair of shoes, I've talked about these before. These are the Birdies brand. They're real suede, beautiful little loafers. They have these quilted insides. They're called shoes that are secretly slippers and they feel like that, but like the most supportive slipper you can imagine. So I actually shared that there's a referral program with Birdies that I didn't know about when I first talked about these in my fall favorites video. Um, and I shared that link with you guys over on my Instagram. You guys get $20 when you sign up and then they send me $20 for my next purchase. It's not an influencer thing and it's not sponsored. Anyone can get their own referral code for their friends. And thanks to you guys, I ordered the black pair of these loafers. The, I think it's called the Starling loafers. I'm so excited for them to get here. So that's with this little spot right here. This is the designated little holding area for my black birdie slippers. And then I have my sneakers that I always wear. These are just the Adidas Neo, super like basic uh, Adidas shoes. I wear those all the time. And then for workout, or if I need just a really good solid pair of sneakers, these are these Adidas Cloud Foam basic sneakers that I got, I think at like Famous Footwear or something. I wore these all over Disney World for days and days and my feet never hurt which is a miracle for my feet. And then I am gonna take these back out to my front closet, but I wanted to show you because these are such a staple in my wardrobe. For the last two years, I have worn these black Chelsea boots like pretty much with every single outfit. I will wear these with dresses. I'll wear them with jeans. They're super comfortable. I've broken them in so much. And um, these are from Truffle Collection, which I think these are sold through Zara in the UK, um, but they're real leather. They have held up beautifully. I have had to go back in with Sharpie and like, uh, like repair little toe scuffs or whatever, but you can't even tell. I like the sleek black Chelsea style. I like Chelsea boots, but sometimes they get a little too clunky in my opinion. And these are just really nice and low profile and sleek and cute and they keep my feet warm in the fall and winter time because they are real leather. So those are going back out to the shoe shelf and out there I also have a couple of pairs of Birkenstocks, one that I wear if I'm going out and want something super quick to slip on. I keep those out year round and then I have my pair of indoor Birkenstocks. These are my indoor only shoes 
and um, I keep those on that shelf as well. And then I have another pair of Chelsea Style, which are a little bit more clunky, um, from UGG that I am uh, getting secondhand from Poshmark. They're brand new, and they're like a brown, kind of a cross between like a cognac and walnut color, real leather, uh, Sherpa lined, so to keep my feet nice and warm. They're also weatherproof. I actually have another pair of them in a different color, but I wanted the color that I just ordered. Um, and if they're anything like the pair that I already have, they're definitely going to be a staple in my wardrobe. And really quick before I say goodbye, I hope this video isn't like a million years long, but um, I'm not much of a jewelry person, but if I do wear jewelry during the fall time, this is what I've been wearing. Look at this adorable little pine cone necklace. Oh, come on, don't focus on my face, focus on the jewelry. Look at how cute this is. I found this at Old Navy, and I thought, man, that only came in gold, it would be perfect. But I bought this one anyway because it was adorable. And the next time I went in, I found the gold one. <laughs> kind of like a brassy gold, it's almost like um, an antique gold, which I really like. So there's the gold one, there's the silver one. It's pretty much all I wear, nice long necklace, little cardigan, t-shirt, or one of the, like the hanging shirts underneath, a pair of jeans, little Chelsea boots, little birdie slippers and I am good to go and it's been so easy lately to like throw my outfits together so if you guys would like to see like what I wear in a week or a week of outfits mom style sort of video let me know because I've been thinking about making a video like that and I totally could do it if it's something that you would watch so let me know in the comments send those requests to me if that's something that you would like to see on this channel and i hope you guys enjoyed today's video taking a look at some of my wardrobe staples for the fall time after i went in and rearranged my closet and gave you some like cleaning and organization motivation if you did enjoy today's video don't forget to give it a thumbs up that really helps my channel out a lot and i appreciate it so much and i also appreciate it when you share my channel with a friend if you enjoy it enough to recommend it that means so much to me well thank you so much for being here with me as i tackled this project and took you through my wardrobe thanks for letting me join you for a little part of your day i know that moments minutes are precious and so the fact that you chose to spend time at my channel it really does mean a lot and i appreciate it so much so don't forget to subscribe if you haven't done so already hit that bell button so you don't miss my newest videos i hope you're having a wonderful day wherever you are thank you so much for watching today's video and i'll catch you later Let there be rain and there